in a very sometimes also competitive environment such as ETH, it can be quite easy to make unrealistic demands of yourself. And I think it's very important to, to learn how to strike that balance between being ambitious and being overly ambitious. I'm Sally. Um, I'm a fresh PhD student in the drug formulation and delivery group here at ETH. And I also did my bachelor's and master's in pharmaceutical sciences and pharmacy at ETH. So I am now a licensed certified pharmacist. When people tell you, you know, studying at ETH is not a sprint, it's a marathon, it is completely correct because you will, along the way, you will always face like many, many different challenges. I always wanted to help people. I wanted to advance health and make a positive impact. And so I knew that um, if that's what it takes, then I'll be up for it. When you first arrive at ETH and you know it's a very prestigious um, university, it's very easy to get caught up in that feeling that everybody around you knows what they're doing and that everybody is way ahead on top of their studies. And Actually, that happened to me as well. I remember in my very first um, semester, I was super stressed because I felt like my high school did not really prepare me for the immense amount of work that I would have to do at ETH. One of those people who would later on become one of my best friends, uh, she actually came up to me one day and was like, hey, I just wanted to tell you, I admire you so much. You seem so composed and you seem so, you seem like you're on top of everything. and." I feel like I'm struggling so much. Sometimes um, it's also very easy to misjudge basically people and then you, you think they have it all together. Um, but in reality, we're all experiencing this, the same thing. And I really think talking about this can make you feel less alone. When you feel like you are losing the joy that you once uh, connected with your studies and it feels like everything is kind of like a chore. That is like a big um, red flag that you're kind of probably on the edge of burning out or just overworking yourself. I think one big part uh, are like any free time activities and any hobbies, any passions that you can pursue outside of your studies. I think those are super important. Something that I wish I would have done earlier is take advantage of all the great opportunities you have at ETH. So, you know, just maybe the nice facilities here, the gym that is very close here. Keep an eye out um, for all the amazing opportunities that ETH offers. Make time for yourself and make time for your friends as well, because yeah, some of the greatest memories that I had at ETH, as I said, were because of because I had such amazing people to go through these five years with.